So look, finding profitable products to dropship nowadays is like trying to win the lottery and that's if you do product research in the old traditional ways like everyone has told you. See, being an 8-figure dropshipper myself and having tested and sold hundreds of products, I've practically seen all the product research methods out there and in this video, I'll go over the absolute best and most efficient way to find products. Now, I've used this product research method that I'm about to show you to find multiple money products myself, including one that I'm currently doing over 15,000 euros per day with on this one product store, which is about 16 to 17,000 dollars if we're talking in dollars. And I plan to scale this to 20,000 euros per day very, very soon. And let me just refresh the page for you so you know that the stats are legit. There you go. So, let's cut to the chase and dive in. So, before we dive into the product research method I'm about to show you, I want to clarify that this method applies to individuals with all levels of expertise. So, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or an expert in the dropshipping industry, you can make good use of this method. And no, it's not paid. This one is completely for free. Also, you might have heard many people or these dropshipping gurus tell you that you need to search for products on, for example, AliExpress, Alibaba, 1688 or TikTok. But it's true that you can actually find a winning and profitable product using one of those product research methods. However, the chances are very, very slim because everyone has been told to do that and many are testing the exact same products. And also, you're essentially just guessing if a product will do good or not based on your gut feeling. And not by something that is not often talked about in the dropshipping industry, and that is data. See, with data driven product research, you're not guessing anymore if a product will turn out to be profitable or not because you already have all the insights you need before you even start selling the product. Now, there are tools out there like the one that I've built with my team called Joshua.io that enables you to see the sales revenue of products. Now, let me show you an example of what I mean. Let's say you're on social media scrolling and you come across an ad for this product. This is like an inflatable waterbed that is being sold for $40. Now, my question is, how much revenue do you think this seller of this product is making per month with it? I'll give you 5 seconds to guess. If we look at the stats on Joshua.io for this product, we can see that they have made over $100,000 selling this product and they start selling it on the 12th of June. Now honestly, if you would have asked me if I would sell this product and I didn't know how much revenue this seller was making, I would have most likely just ignored it. Because this product does not look appealing at all, but the numbers don't lie. And if you see that the product is doing good numbers in terms of revenue, then nothing is stopping you from selling the exact same product and if you find weakness in their funnel or ads, you can potentially do better than the current seller. Okay, so now that you know what factor I look at when deciding what product I should sell next, let's dive into my laptop and I'll go over the full product research method for you. So I just use the Joshua.io Chrome extension when I do product research, because this extension has all the things that I need. If you do not have it installed yet, then I strongly recommend you to. It basically allows you to see the sales revenue of products and it also enables you to see the ads of products. So it goes in both ways. Anyway, after you have the Joshua.io Chrome extension installed, make sure to go up here and pin it, and then head over to Facebook. So what we will do here is just click on the Joshua.io extension icon and it will come down a drop down menu. And in the menu, I want you to turn on show ads and the auto scroll option. And as you can see, this will remove all the normal posts from your Facebook feed and only show you ads from advertisers that you can look at later on. Now, for me, this is the most organic way to look for products because you're only seeing Facebook ads that are currently active and if you find a product that somebody is running ads for and you see that they're making a lot of sales, then that is the perfect indicator that this product is worth testing. Because if you think about it, this seller has basically done all the dirty work by uploading the product, creating a store around it, creating the ad, testing the product, and now they're profitable. So I usually just leave this on for a few hours and then when I come back, I have a few thousand ads saved. So now the Joshua.io Chrome extension has collected a bunch of ads for me as you can see over here. And to view all the ads, 
just click the see collected ads button down here and as you can see this will open up a full dashboard of all the ads you have collected and there are a bunch of filters up here that allow you to filter through the list of ads and up here in the search bar you can search for a specific ad you have collected or filter through the oldest most liked most commented most shared or most viewed ad along with the creative type which allow you to select whether you only want to see videos photos or carousals in the ad list now over here you can filter through the feedback and also the call to actions for me i know that many josh pairs usually go with video ads so i will only have that selected and then for call to actions i will deselect all and only select shop now order now and learn more and then click on apply great so now the list of ads has been updated and i'll just scroll down a little bit and i'll update you once i find something interesting now this ad of a bikini seems interesting the thumbnail grabbed my attention and they almost have 1 million views with a lot of engagement so let's just watch the ad Okay, so from the looks of it, it's basically a bikini that changes colors when it gets in contact with water. Their ad is pretty engaging because they are changing the clip every 2-3 to three seconds and the product itself has a wow factor effect to it. But honestly, this is a seasonal product and I know when it comes to clothing, there can be a lot of problems with the sizing. So the refund rate in this industry is very very high. And I personally don't sell in the clothing market so I will just go ahead and skip this product. Okay, so this ad looks interesting. They have over 25 million views, but very little engagement. This is weird, but I believe the reason for that is because the advertiser is using the same post ID to run this ad on multiple campaigns, but may have duplicated this ad into an ad set without saving the engagement. Anyway, let's watch the ad. Okay, so right off the bat, this ad was also great. They used a bunch of clips and their scroll stopper was also really good. The product itself is currently in demand. Now I'm kinda curious to see the sales revenue for this product. So to do that, I'll just go ahead and press the shop now button over here and it will take me to the product page. Okay, so my first impression of the product page is that it's really really well designed. You can tell that the seller behind this is experienced. And they have also branded the product and let's scroll down to reviews. Wow, 1,800 reviews. This is great for social proof. Now at the bottom over here is the Joshua IO Chrome extension. And if I go to the overview tab, I'm able to see the information about the store, such as when the store was created, what theme they're using, what language the store is in, how many products the store has and their social media platforms. Now below all of that is the sales revenue section. This is where I can see the sales revenue of the store. But as you can see it's currently locked because I need to sign into my Joshua Tai account to see that. And if you don't have a Joshua Tai account yet you can create one for free. Okay so I just signed in into my Joshua Tai account and now I'm able to see the sales revenue for the store. So let me go ahead and pop up the overview tab again and Wow, this seller is making over $10,000 a day with this product. And keep in mind that this is a fan. Now I honestly didn't think that this seller would be making over $10,000 a day selling a fan. Anyway, if I scroll down a little more, I'm able to see that this is a one product store. And below that, I can see all the apps that they currently have installed in their store. Now I'm also able to go to the live sales tab over here to see the sales this store is getting in real time. But this is not so important because I already have all the validation I need and I know for a fact that this store is killing it. But to get even more validation, I usually just press on this start tracking button over here and then press view tracking. This will take me into Joshua.io and here I'm able to see all the historical sales revenue for the store. Now I can go all the way to the last 6 months to see how much they have made. 
and within this period this store has generated over nine hundred fifty thousand dollars and their sales are very very consistent as you can see over here so you just witnessed me find a winning product live right in front of you in a matter of minutes using this product research strategy now i can guarantee you that if you give this a try you will most likely also find a winning product that you can pursue it's almost impossible to not find a product using this strategy. Anyway, so what I do after I find a product that I believe is worth making a store around is just start studying all the competitors selling the exact same product to see how they have structured the product pages, ads, and offers. That way I'm able to find room for improvement, see what they're weak at, and then do better than them. Because if you think about it, luck does play a big role into this, but to maximize your chances of succeeding, it is important that you master all aspects of your store and ensure that your product page, ads, and offers are way better than your competitors. So just to give you a quick recap, firstly, you find the product, study the market, build a great store, then make a great ad, and start selling. This is the exact method I go with for every new product I decide to start selling. And if you would like to see me do the other parts of this process in a video, then please comment down below. But in this video, I just wanted to share with you how I find profitable and winning products as many have asked me about it. Alright, I hope I was able to give you a clear understanding of how I personally do product research. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more valuable content. Take care for now.